You want to support Roller Mark Unfiltered? Be sure to join our Bring the Funk fan club. Every dollar that you give to us supports our daily digital show. There's only one daily digital show out here that keeps it black and keep it real. It's Roller Mark Unfiltered by going to RollerMartinUnfiltered.com. You can make this possible. No charcoal girls are allowed. I'm white. I got you, Carl. Yeah, um, illegally selling water without a permit. On my property. Whoa! Hey! Hey, remember, give me your ass. Yeah. I'm uncomfortable. All right, y'all. What in the hell? What possesses a crazy ass white woman to compare her television co anchor to a damn gorilla? This is Finn. We're about to show. Oh, my goodness. I feel like that. He's a resident of the Oklahoma City Zoo. And this week, the zoo's eighth caretaker took over their Instagram. And we are all loving that they did. And as you can see, Finn was fascinated. Definitely ready for his close up. Right? Kind of looks like you. We need to take a picture. Uh, Can we go? Actually, yeah. What? Wait, did he say yeah? Yeah, he did. <laughs> like, yeah, y'all heard it, huh? Yeah. Kind of looks like you. Yeah, And he know, goes, What? Yeah, it does, actually. So they, of course, um, they, of course, you know, had to come on the air and there had to be an apology. Press play. I guess I want to apologize. The only time calling her, Jason, but to our entire community. I said something yesterday that was inconsiderate, it was inappropriate, and I hurt people. And I want you to know, I understand how much I hurt you out there and how much I hurt you. I love you so much, and you have been one of my best friends for the past year and a half, and I would never do anything on purpose to hurt you. And I love our community, and I want you all to know, from the bottom of my heart, I apologize for what I said. I know it was wrong, and I am so sorry. Oh. Alex, thank you very much, and I, I, I do accept your apology, and I, I do appreciate your apology. Um, I want to let everybody out there know that Alex um, is one of my best friends. I mean, we do what we do here, and, and you know, it's not as if we see each other here and then we leave and we go home. We talk every day, or almost every other day. Um, I've told you things. I, I, I've shared things with you uh, as a friend, and I, I do appreciate you, and I do love you. Um, all that being said, uh, and Alex will be the first to admit this to you. What she said yesterday was wrong. Um, it cut deep for me, and it cut deep for a lot of you in the community. I've heard the, the phone calls, and I've heard the Facebook messages as well. And, and, and I guess coming out of this, I want this uh, to be a teachable moment. And that, that lesson here is that words, words matter. There's no doubt about that. Um, changing demographics here in this country. The demographics are changing. We're becoming a more diverse country. And, and there's no excuse. We have to understand uh, the stereotypes. We have to understand uh, each other's backgrounds and the words uh, that hurt, the words that cut deep. And we have to find a way to replace those words with love and words of affirmation um, as well. Um, you know, what we do here as broadcasters, uh, we use words. Words are the, the tools of our trade, much like a, you know, a plumber would use a wrench or a doctor would use a scalpel. We Wait, I what? can't hear that Scalpel? bullshit. I can't hear that bullshit anymore. Y'all, go ahead. So, look. <laughs> uh-uh. Somebody should have... Um, I was waiting for her to... I was waiting for a handkerchief. I was waiting for a, a, a white wipe a tear or something, not just no, choke up. No, she got her face beat. Just, they ain't just, no crying, crying. But uh, I, it was no, no tear that no, fell got, from no, her no, eye. There would you be know, no tear. I do think as far as him, uh, him saying <laughs> yes, you know, or whatever he said, you know, there, I think mo many of us have been in situations where people say things and we just kind of respond. Right. And then you know, later we say, well, yeah. what the shit? I, hey, uh, if your ass told me I look kind of like you're a gorilla, I'd be like, <laughs> bitch, have you lost your... Oh, Becky, have rolling. you lost your... I'm telling you right now. Oh, That's rolling. real. That's real. We don't but, know what he said after. He might have been like, yeah, your whole ass afterwards. look like... You but know, I don't but think that's that easy to kind of do that. No, I, I agree. Kelly gone. So, I, so this is twofold. I'll, I'll One, you. I think that she was just completely ignorant in, t in terms of her statement. Oh, I, my God. That looks like you. Yeah, like, the fact that you came up with that so quickly, that just kind of rolled off your tongue, that, to me, says that you've been thinking about this. Bitch, it's a gorilla! Oh, rolling. It's a gorilla! Dog! I don't care who you are! <laughs> we are looking... 
It's a gorilla. So that's that's point number one. Point number two is the fact that I don't think he understands the gravamen of that sentiment. Because if I were him, I wouldn't be sitting next to her during her apology. Uh, yo, if I, I were listen, him, that would not have happened because... Can I, can, I, can I just say... And let me say this right now. I know somebody's sitting there. Yeah, see, I'm just saying how the natural response would have been. She would have got cussed out. She abs- for she, me, too. She, she would have got cussed out. I'm a very peaceful And person, I know somebody's saying, but... I can't believe you would have said that. No. It was... I'm t- right. I, I, but Heffa would have come out. Uh, the B... I, and look, I don't know what... Every, everything would have come tumbling. Can't... Y'all, a gorilla. See, let me... No, 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 no. Also, no, no, see, let me help somebody out. Because if somebody's watching right now, and y'all probably saying, oh, Roland, you got your alpha shirt on, you know, and you got these alphas who call themselves apes. I don't. In fact... That's, that's prohibited by fraternity. And I've said, calling ourselves no damn apes, I don't give a damn if Omegas call themselves dogs. We don't need no damn mascot. And I will never, never, and, and of course it was outlawed in our fraternity, you can't be putting that crap on shirts and stuff along those lines. And I've said to anybody who's an alpha, if I ever see you with some alpha gear and a goddamn ape or a monkey, I'm like, I'm going to cuss you the hell out. I'm going to cuss you out up and down because... The history of black people mm-hmm. being called monkeys, uh, chimpanzees, gorillas, uh, is shameful. It's shameful. And for her, right, so easily. Yeah, it was very easy. It for looks her. like you. Right. And then what's worse to me, even after all of that, which was just bad on its own, but the fact of the matter is, as, as black as he is and as white as she is, together on that sofa together, that also brings other, you know, negative historical connotations. Absolutely. So that, yeah. to me, was more bothersome than the fact that she called him I, a monkey. Can I, can I be honest? I think, and, and you know, I'm going to say this because we're unfiltered, I think he wants to smash. He probably already did. Oh, gee whiz. Maybe. That's what it looked like to me. Oh, I mean, when he put it on, he texted each other every oh, day. Oh, gosh. You're my best friend. Man. Yeah. No, let's not, let's, not, let's not think that the both of them could be married or something. We, we don't I know. I didn't see a ring. I looked. I didn't look, but I'll tell you this. I always look. But I think it's possible for people to have relationships with someone of the other race or whatever and have, you know, be sympathetic to them. You absolutely can have a white woman. But that that was like, oh, I low key probably slept with you like a week ago and then you said that. Oh, God. Y'all getting way off. Yes. I'm just saying, we unfiltered, so I was just. The the bottom line. I said what I said. It was inappropriate. the, the, The bottom line for me is. Um, the moment she said, that looked like you. Yeah, that was... Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I would have said something. Go off. Yeah. I'm telling you right now, it. TV show would have stopped. You would have heard... <laughs> what you say? <laughs> Who look like me? See, right there. See, and we, she did we ain't waiting waiting for the phone call. Yeah, that's, that's, what I, that's what yeah. got me, too. No, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. So Listen to me. I don't give a damn if you're at the end of a segment. Everything would cease from moving. It would have been like, hold up. What did you just say? See, we ain't waiting for the phone calls and the emails to come in. And then we ain't waiting for Becky uh, to be crying the next day. No, Becky, we're going to deal with that thing right now. It's going to make her cry right now. That ain't happening. Yeah. That ain't happening. They they I, I, we we ain't waiting for tomorrow. Yeah, they should have dealt with it. Like and we ain't that. waiting for the moment on the couch. You know, where you my best friend, and you know, and I love you. Yeah, I mean, she they actually wasn't his best friend. They, 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 know, they should have, they should have dealt. That was, that was a, that was a definite insensitivity and like ignorance real, and the whole nine yards. But real, they should have been dealt with right after the break. But no. we don't know what he said <laughs> off camera. Wait, that, but that, but that, my, my point is, we ain't waiting till the next day. <laughs> and my thing yeah, is, but we don't, we don't know what he, he made we ain't so, waiting till the yeah. next day. No. Yeah. See, you know, I didn't know it was the next day. But another day. point of the worse. matter is her apology had nothing to do with the historical connotation of it all. They, they avoided the word race or racism. It really, my they, of course. It wasn't, your community. It wasn't her around. community that she And he's offended. like, you know, we got to find different words. You know, we got to find, And then you he know. kind of likened it to a scalpel, like words are a scalpel. Okay. All right. 
I don't know. I think he's from Mississippi or something. I don't know. Oh! <laughs> oh, no. We'll, to, we'll, we'll take that. Know. We'll take that for the team. We'll take that for the Shame. team. All right, folks, back to that whole Mark Unfiltered video in just one moment. All right, folks, you heard we talk a lot about MarijuanaStock.org. Why? Because I want to keep you informed of investment opportunities that make sense. We've all watched the growth of the cannabis industry. A recent report by New Frontier Data estimates the global cannabis market at over $340 billion. We know that marijuana legalization is sweeping the country state by state. We also know that marijuana has a good cousin, the hemp plant, with a much higher concentration of CBD. That means hemp gives you all the medical benefits of marijuana without getting you high. Now, until recently, hemp farming was practically legal in the U.S. and heavily regulated by the DEA. However, the 2018 Farm Bill changed all of that, making it legal to grow hemp CBD in the U.S., creating one of the largest commodities worldwide. Folks, they need land to grow all of the plants, and that's where our good friends at 420 Real Estate come in. Their business model is simple. They buy land that supports hemp CBD grow operations and lease it to licensed high-paying tenants. That's right, they are hemp CBD landlords. And you can get in on the action. My friends at 420 Real Estate decided to do something special for the Roland Martin Unfiltered family. Originally, the minimum investment level was 500 bucks. Right now, you can invest in this crowdfunding campaign for as little as $200. That's right, 200 bucks up to $10,000. So you have a growing industry where you can get in for as little as $200. To invest, go to marijuanastock.org. That's marijuanastock.org. Get in the game and you can get in the game now. Now back to your Roland Martin Unfiltered video.